how we do our <laughs> space impact. Look him in the eye. Look him in the eye. Look him in the eye. So how do you think we change the, the judge issue in South Africa? It's not an issue. Oh, what? Which, oh. <laughs> That's great. What? Yo, what to do, Academy? We back with another one. You know, it's yes, Space Boy Taco. Sir. I'm with my host with the most. Yes, sir. It's your boy Loke in the building, you know what I'm saying? And we still in CPT, baby. You know and what I'm we saying? We have a very, very special interview for you today. Yes, sir. We got the creative director of Elucid Studios. Yes, fashion sir. Fashion designer, furniture designer, photographer, illustrator, an all-round artist, <laughs> if I may say so. list goes on. A renaissance man. Ooh, uh, I like that. Too we much. got Gillian in the building. Yes, Let's make sir. Some noise. Uh, shout out to having you, bro. Big Gilly in the pleasure, building. Yeah, yeah. Thank Welcome you for to coming CPT, through. Bro. Yeah. Thank for you. For sure. You. How you feeling today, my G? Nah, easy, bro. It's Friday. Yeah, can't complain, dog. Laid back vibes. Yeah, not this morning, but yeah, from now on, we laid what back. Was, bro. What was popping this morning? Ah, you know, just work things, bro. Ah. Getting everything going, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but now busy. easy, bro. Yeah, always busy, bro. It's, that's the life. That's the yeah, grind, that's you know life, what I'm saying? Bro. For sure. But yeah, I think before we start, you know, let's just quickly get a young fit check, you know what I'm saying? Let the people know what you got on. Um, Top, I mean, we'll start here. Got some. Lucid Studios from the last season, fucking mm. 905. Um, got the new The Rod collaboration yes, that we just sir. dropped like two weeks ago. Tough. Uh, PPC Beanie. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, bro, I just got my painting pants on, bro. Something slides represent on the feet. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, bro. And then just different jewelry from uh, Lucid, bro. Different ones that design. So, yeah. What's the timepiece? A diesel. Oh, that's a, that's <laughs> a clean, clean time piece. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's tough that, as hell, yeah. bro. I ain't seen anyone coming like that. Before. I swear, I ain't seen. I ain't seen nobody. Nah, I got, I got it. Um, I got it in France, bro. So, Ooh, yeah, I feel you. I yeah, feel like you. on a market there, bro. So yeah, it's like a nineties piece. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. early two thousands for vintage. sure. Yeah, vintage stuff, bro. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. I think you know we can uh, get into your whole journey. You know what I'm saying? So uh, me and my boy here, you know, we know that. You went to uh, study at Inkscape, you know. What I'm saying you did a bit of traveling and all that, yeah, yeah. but we really want to get, you know, before all of that, like run us through uh, your upbringing and like how you I got into it. what you do. So, yo, bro, I take it back. I actually come from like a small town, bro, mm-hmm. on the coast, plates. Um, so yeah, bro, go grew, grew up there. Went to school, like boarding school in George. Um, but yeah, there weren't really people doing like my shit in that side yeah, so, yeah yeah i was always like i had one homie luke that um used to shoot video he came from droberg actually in yeah. like grade 10 and then with him i think that's like where i probably like started pursuing like the creative journey and like doing stuff started with like photography mm. um and then yeah i went traveling for two years after that and then mostly just working photography um while i was like traveling and all that yeah and then yeah, I came through to Cape Town, and then from there, kind of just made everybody the side. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I was at Inkscape doing graphic design, but yeah, it was a bit too, like, commercial, I would say, for me. Mm. Um, so I was kind of going there as, like, uh, thinking, you know, what, like, studying something that I can use for, you know, a range of things. Like, with in, with graphic design, that like, ties into the designing for the brand. For sure. Um, yeah. For sure. It's like yeah. a skill set more so. Yeah, than for yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Right? I do I design on websites, you know, mm. um, do all of the designs for the clothing running social media um, yeah pretty much everything bro so yeah i think that was like yeah the best thing for there and yeah. then i started the brand in uni in like second year ran it for like two years but it was like kind of it was dope but like only after i finished uni did i have like time to like actually start doing like everything this shit, yeah like properly bro, full time mm-hmm. yeah like cmt's going crazy with like quality silhouettes yeah so yeah but it's been like two years of of going full time yeah so sure. so then uh when you were traveling, you say you went to France, right? Yo, I did so many, bro. When I was traveling, I did like I was actually in I was in China for like ten months. Oh, okay, so run us through. Dang, <laughs> that's a long time. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's was, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was working there, um, pretty much just to make cash, bro. I was eighteen, so I was like fresh out of school, mm. and then the goal was to travel for like another year. So I worked there for like ten months to make cash, and then I traveled Europe for like another year, and then hit like I think I did like twelve countries or so. Damn. So the boy did a world yeah. tour. Passport I'm telling you, okay. <laughs> passport stamp. Yeah, passport yeah, stamp. Yeah. You've seen some places. So how how would you say that seeing that diverse set of cultures, like all that different, all these different things? 
I can um, only imagine how that mm. would inform you. Nah, for sure, for sure. I grew up traveling though, actually, before that even. Um, my parents do jewelry. So they travel like around the world. So like, I think I started traveling when I was like a year or two years old, like with them. Um, so yeah, but I think like that would probably be what's like really, like more than my upbringing like back home because there wasn't like too much that could influence me back then. Like yeah. there's like, it's mostly like surfing, skating or like, um, you know, homies are smoking, like they're not doing too much, but yeah. it's like it's calm beach lifestyle. So yeah. I think traveling is like what's, you know, like allowed me to like really view, cause we always used to go to like galleries and things like that um, overseas and then seeing the different cultures, but like that really shapes you into yeah, seeing like there's so much more out there, bro, than just yeah. like your like small town. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Nah, that's dope, bro. Like I feel you, like, you know, that whole traveling and seeing different, you know, yeah. cultures and all that, has that had, uh, any impact in your creative direction and things or yeah for sure bro even like um the previous like not this one but the previous collection before that i think it was like 20 22 then i went to morocco and then the whole collection was like all the the colors and silhouettes and everything kind of like was very tan like everything fitted like that kind of scenery in essence and i did like yeah. the campaign street that side as well yeah um, so yeah bro for sure like every time i go i haven't been I last year I didn't go anywhere, so this year hopefully going to to Europe back here. Yeah. yeah, I got family in France, so definitely go back to France and then yeah, see a way else. I'm trying to go to Berlin as well. What's popping in Berlin? Um, yo, I got quite a few homies in Berlin, and also like just the I don't know, everything like architecture, the the fashion shit that come out that side. Um, does really dope, but even the tattoos there, yeah. super sick. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to hit the UK up as well. I feel you. Yeah, so yeah, do like a small young tour. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, wait. So our people, when you started the brand initially, it was Elusive Apparel. Yeah. When mm. did that change from apparel to studios happen? And did it have? Uh, was there like a change in direction with the brand as well? I think it was just like when it was apparel, it was kind of like set on like like that kind of just means garments. Where like studios, I felt like it could hone everything that I wanted to do underneath it. So it's like I'm yeah. doing jewelry design. Um, I want to add in like I've been doing furniture so it's like if I want to add furniture into the brand you know in the future I can do that and it's kind of like it allows me to diversify what I want to do and then, like nothing holds me back into like being so it's like a studio space where it's like I just put in my creativity because like I had me doing like all the different things as like separate entities but I was like you know what why not make it like housed under one thing and then mm. like that would be you know the brand like kind of like what chrome hearts are doing something like that where yeah. they do like everything but like their furniture is crazy like they can do custom stuff so you can do custom things yeah. um and yeah for sure something like that bro nah for you it doesn't box you in you know what i'm exactly, saying exactly so flexible yeah. Yeah. and it allows you to use your whole skill set because i can see that you are someone that's quite learned like yeah yeah literally bro i always like learning new things but like literally as we were saying outside like Started like this week. I did my first tats. We were on Matt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Shout oh, out, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, shout yeah, out, Matt. My boy, summer pokes. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, so even that, like, I've been wanting to do that since I was a kid, and so I finally like, get into that. So I'll uh, be just a new venture, bro. I, just, I like experimenting. So anything that's like allows me to do creativity, different mediums, bro. I'm there. What? So what are some of the like movies, comics, different mediums that we might not know about that have like inspired and informed your design language? Mm. Um, I mean, like in comics, I watch like a lot of anime, bro. So probably, probably that. Um, like that heavily inspires me because just like the narrative that they have in that, as well as like, um, yeah, bro, like the the drawing styles, all that, like that should, yeah, crazy. But I feel like better than most like cartoons and things like that. So yeah, definitely that. Um, I'd even say the dress code in anime, like some yeah, crazy, anime, bro. Really yeah, yeah, wrong, yeah, exactly, like, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah and the sure. style or the world and Facts. silhouettes, bro. They have like crazy like proportions as well. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. they really do play with exactly, that. Exactly, bro. Like the DBZ with the very small. Yeah, bro. I was on DBZ yeah. like <laughs> when I was still on what's um. Was on SBC two. It was SBC two. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the Bible day, club. bro, I used to come back from school, bro. DVZ. Waiting comes for on. that one. Waiting show, for bro. that shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Always, bro. Now, but speaking on the anime, you have to give us a top five. Top five top anime. Five. Let's Yo, hear that. Okay. Um. So I would say, you got Death Note probably back in my number one for mm. sure. Um. Death Note is fire. Yeah, Death Note is fire. I've been watching. They had like new. Um. Demon Slayer that came on, so I was watching that mm. recently. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen. I was waiting for that one, but yeah. that one has to be a top five. Yeah, top yeah. five. Um, 
Full Metal Alchemist. For oh, sure. Yeah. 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 That's a, and then sure. your fifth one, bro. I don't know. Like, there's so many, but I could say like maybe like Naruto or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, Naruto. Yeah, OG, bro. So but like, hella slept on. Hella slept on. Yeah. Though, yeah. Actually, I watched it the first time. I watched it. Uh, I was in a bus in Morocco. I mean, in Mexico. Yeah. Like when I was a kid, and it was like playing um on the on the TV, and it was like a long ass. I don't know, like fucking ten hour bus ride. So you know, let me I just tap in. Yeah, let's, it was all it was all in Spanish, see. bro. I didn't understand <laughs> shit, crazy. but I just thought I was like, nah, this stuff's going Spanish is crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even have subtitles, bro. I was just like, yeah. Yeah, there was nothing else to do, bro. I just had that and like my little like my Nintendo, bro. So I was yeah. just jamming that shit, yeah. yeah, for sure. On the note of traveling, what country outside of SA do you think has most like influenced you? Mm. Yo, um, I'd say. Honestly, Morocco, bro. When I went okay. there, like, yeah, that was, I mean, like, I feel like Europe is dope, mm -hmm. um, but it's like it's Western and like it's like there's not too much differences between a South African culture and like Western. Like, obviously, they have everything on a higher level. Like, let's say for fashion, I'll definitely say like that side because they obviously go so much crazier. But like, not in terms of that, but more in terms of like um, culture and like everything that surrounds it. Like everything in Morocco like kind of blends together like yeah. it's like a very you know, it's like a beautiful space but yeah. and people are super friendly yeah nice spot for mm, I feel you I feel like the color palettes there as well go crazy crazy but I've seen bro. a whole lot yeah, of different yeah. colors vibrant shit being meshed together so nah, literally dope. bro they have a yeah, crazy color palettes and mm. everything is like the same tone underlying tone basically so like mm. everything just blends bro yeah. and like a lot of stuff is like they have like old um like fortress Fortresses and stuff there. Yeah, yeah, and that's I fuck with that. I grew up also like on medieval stuff, so I like that. Like, oh, I'm, so you yeah. into the whole medieval? Yeah, yeah that's back in the day, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah tapped sure. into Game of Thrones. I did. I haven't got fully into it though. Uh, I, don't like. I feel like it was. It's like it's too much to unpack right now, but I don't have a time for. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get hooked into a series <laughs> like crazy. So yeah. that's a lot, bro. Even like anime, that shit. It's it gets a lot, bro, because I'll binge a season. That's like, the thing. And then you check yo, the time. And yo, 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 yo. I check the time. It's like 5 a.m. I'm like, nah, like nah, damn, I have yeah, like shit. I have meetings at like 9. But yeah. No, it's deep, bro. Nah, I feel you. Yeah. I actually also want to, you know, get into a bit of the things that people don't see. You know what I'm saying? Like the struggles, mm -hmm. the all of the trials and tribulations, yeah. you know, as a person um, who does what you do. Like, how does that look? And how do you actually like move about to fix things or get around it? Yeah, I mean, I've had, like, uh, my very fair share of, like, I guess, trials and things. I guess doing it also, like, for one on your own, like, you have to learn to, um, I guess, overcome things. Because, I don't know, I had, like, even last year, um, maybe, like, around about this time, I had, like, a huge portion of, most of my stock got stolen. Sheesh. Um, yeah, bro, from storage. So, and now it's, like, the new collection had released and then as well as like some unreleased new pieces but like it was a big portion like that when i kind of maybe look and be like you know like it was like a turning point where it's like i could either like stop now or like have to push through this but and i feel like there's been like quite a few situations where i'm just like you know i quite quick to like act on how things are and it's like if something happens to it i'll be like okay you know what like that happened and rather than like focus on that like try to just look at like yeah going past to the next space you. you know what i'm saying because mm. um yeah, you have to just, you know, continue. And then I guess, like, the love and support, like, from, like, I feel like that's also when you realize, like, how big your community is as well. Yeah, like, how much people, yeah. like, actually genuinely fuck with you. So I feel like that was a beautiful thing to see. And I feel like that you can only see when you have, like, um, I guess, like, those trials and tribulations. Because otherwise you kind of, like, overlook it a lot of the time. Yeah. You know, like, everything kind of, like, just builds the whole time. So, you like, then that, like, gives you a chance to look back and be like, okay, you know. Yeah, I feel you. Done a lot. This is how far we've come right yeah, now. For yeah, sure. On that note, I see that you mentioned that like your goal was to build a community. Mm. How far along do you think you've come with that? Because I see you do work with your friends a lot. Like I've seen uh, Matt and your yeah. ads yeah. done some work with Internet Girl. And I've seen it's like not one time off stuff. Yeah. stuff. I see you guys are actually friends. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, for sure. I feel like everyone that has ever been like a part of the brand, whether it's like for a campaign, um, it's always like people that's, are in the community and they're actually genuine like homies with me that I also fuck with like what they're doing and their vision. So like everyone is like, I don't just have like a random person that's going to be in it that just like looks dope. But like, I like to have there be more to it. Like there's, they're actually doing cool stuff with, you know, what they want to do. And I also just want, you know, put people on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I feel like we come a far away, like in Cape Town. Cape Town's a pretty small place to be honest. Mm. Like, mm. and yeah. I guess the next step now is like, you know, nationwide. Um, yeah. Have like homies in Joburg and 
even Durban as well. Mm. Um, they'd be rapping their band hard that side. So yeah, definitely just build the community, like continue. But I just have like yeah, like-minded people. Like that's always been a goal. Yeah. And it's always because like, I feel like the brand's been kind of, it's sort of like more of like a subculture because the designs are more out there than I guess your general um, like graphic tees are like just basic things. So yeah. And like it started, like the goal is always like, rather than just blowing up big <clears throat> um, to like build like a genuine like f- like community from like a smaller space where the people that are actually like are in the know and they fuck with it like they genuinely like care about it a lot yeah. so it's like then yeah. when you grow you always have that core fan base so like that was always the goal is just to, like grow that like strong community that will be with you you know when mm. you like continue because like if you blow up on like tiktok or you do like something like that like it's just homies that see you like they don't actually resonate with you they don't know your story they yeah. don't know like your process that goes into it i feel like that's like a big part is like showcasing that and like being so involved within the city and the different spaces and people here like that really allows you to uh of people to like have an interest and like care like for yeah. what you're actually doing and actually mm. before your vision and yeah yeah, yeah for and sure. then for your most recent collab you worked with the uh graffiti artist the rot yeah speak mm. to me a bit about this collection and everything that went into it yeah, so it was actually, um, yeah, shout out to Rod, bro, that's my boy. Yeah, um, yeah I've been, you know, once I saw it, I saw, I met him last year, and then I think we, yeah, you know, we, we chatted about it for, for minutes, and the collection was probably in the works for like four or five months before we released it, because um, we, we were going to release a bit early, and then we were like, nah, let's actually just do it right, because like, we put so much time into it already, like into the designing of it, Um did so many designs and yeah. like I had like a very curated like selection that came out. Um, shot the campaign with it with Hannah. You know, shout out Hannah as well. Yeah. Amazing photographer and um, videographer. And you know, the pieces was kind of like blending his world, which is like a very brutalist, um, you know, kind of like grungy yeah. um, atmosphere, like with the lucid, which kind of falls under like a similar theme and like in the graph artist I felt like he was like the one that resonated the most that I feel like a lot of time as much as I love graph I feel like a lot of them they like it can be very um like playful and comical which is like Mm. it's dope um but with like in the brand silhouette and like creating pieces that actually resonated on like garments and things like that I felt like um yeah ours like worlds just kind of fit aligned perfectly together came together Mm. nice yeah yeah Something that I've seen that you said, like it's not the exact quote, but you said some along the lines of imperfections are vessels for raw beauty. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's something sure. that you, the two of y'all, were able to... Capture. You know, capture, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In this collection. 100%. Mm. Yeah, that's, that was definitely like... Um, I feel like there's a lot of times that things happen and you... I don't know, I was, especially with me, like I get so set on like having things perfect and like happen in a specific way. So it's like sometimes the extra imperfections that like you don't mean to happen, they kind of like the blessing that makes it like unique, you yeah. know, and like feel more authentic. It'll so be that the was, thing that stands out out of yeah. the whole thing, yeah. And everything's kind of like weathered as well, like in terms of like the graphics, things like that. So it's also built to like weather as you wear it. So that mm. was like a, a deep part in that, yeah. Yeah. It's like functional clothing, mm. basically the uniform. Yeah, the uniform, right? Everything like super high quality um, so that you can just wear, like if you're going to go skate, if you're going to like do anything that's like rough, but like I wanted the garments to always like kind of be built if you're doing, you know, um, graph or you're doing like anything creative. Yeah, um, yeah bro, it's built to last for sure. No, definitely. Mm. Definitely. Because I see even with the previous collection, the mm. fucking 905, I saw some of the pieces that you had there, like the jackets. Yeah, yeah. And I could see that it's like, you could see, okay, yeah, no, this is actually... Like you say, the uniform. Yeah, like you yeah, would be exactly. painting in that jacket. That was if you need the to goal, bro, for sure. sculpt. Yeah. You would be doing yeah. that in that jacket. If you're making yeah. furniture, you're doing that in that I, jacket. I think that's 100%. really dope, bro. So you know what I'm saying? are essentially building your world. And now, like I, I spoke to Junkie, and we had an interview with another guys from uh, Joe Buck Against yeah. Society. Yeah. And we were speaking about world building. And essentially, what designers do, or what they say good designers do, is they build their world. Mm. So now I feel like with that you're tapping into the uniform side of it. Yeah, mm. for sure. So where do you think you might be going next? Yeah, I think I'm always evolving. So it's like, um, I mean, I got new pieces that's already, you know, on the way for the, for the next collection. But you know, I try to make like a world around like every collection that comes out. So like that was very specific. Um, always has like an underlying base that obviously you can like tie it into the brand, like know that it's part of it. But yeah. everything kind of like, yeah, can, it'll change over t- as time as time changes. Mm. Can we get a little scoop on what we might, what you we might could see. expect next? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I got some, 
I'll, I'll use one, bro. I got these crazy jorts that are coming and come out. Okay. okay. Got like okay. full back pocket embroidery. I'm not going to take too much Shut about it. I can but imagine. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I yeah. just got the material to get like butter wash now. So that's just like soft as fuck. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Some crazy I've seen you have is the, the gloves, the studio gloves. Oh, yeah. I yeah. see you got one with the rod and you got one for the fucking Yeah, I got them here in my bag, bro, actually. Oh, shit. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Check we, them out. Oh, we can see them real quick. I think they're inside there. Even the bag, the, the bag tough too. too. Yeah, the, the bag from the new collection. I need the tote bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need the tote bag, bro. Yeah, like, like come on. What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this Family. is the bag, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not get into what's in the bag. Yeah, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Yo, I don't even know what's inside here, man. I threw it together like as I left the crib. That's the best type of bag. Yeah. And we know what the essentials are, the real essentials. iPad. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, iPad. Little notebook, bro. Yeah. Uh got my wallets. Diesel wallets. True, um, that's tough. Yeah, got my film camera. Yeah. And literally just that it, bro. It's kind of the same shit I carry every day, bro. A little Muji. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I just got some papers, um, some rolling stuff. And then, yeah, I got the gloves here as well. Yeesh. Yeesh. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the nice. gloves, bro. Wow. Yes, and they can't see the texture. You the can't texture, see the texture is bro. crazy. Yeah, yeah, like, full yeah, 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 gloves, The texture bro, so. is crazy, yep. bro. Yep, sealed and all that. You yeah, know what bro, I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. too tough, bro. That's that one. Yeah, so you that's get me. Gloves, bro. Um, so yeah, bro, that's pretty much what's in the bag most of the time. Those are your essentials. Those are, essential Those essentials, are the space bro. essentials. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, literally, bro. That's dope. Okay, so you carry your iPad with you. Is this for like Everywhere, on the moment? Bro. On the moment, creativity bro, or for what? Sure. Mm. Yeah, bro. Getting that iPad. Like yo, I wanted an iPad for so long, bro. So I got it like last year, and yeah. then yeah, bro. That shit was just. It takes. It's just like. Cause I mean, I'll be designing on my on my on my like computer and stuff, but it's not like as portable. Like even though Mac's pretty portable, like it's not the same as an iPad. Cause like I, I was using you. like a Wacom before, which is like now you need two components. But now all I need is just like the pen and go and out you, there. And you on the go. Yeah, like, on the go, bro. Yeah, and I sure. checked that's the one you're designing with in the promo vid for the fucking nine to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Cause I did all the all the pieces. And now I'm like sketching out on the iPad first. So mm. I do everything sketched, and then. From there, get it made by my pattern maker. I feel. Go to sampling. That's fine. Yeah. So production. it just makes the work process easier. Yeah, yeah for sure. Is I just like setting stuff. Um, mm. And then I see you got the notepad as well. Is that for notes as well? Or do we got some traditional going on in there as well? Yeah, I, I like, like, I mean, I know you got the notes on your phone. I still be putting notes on my phone, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, I've always just liked writing all my writing stuff down. Yeah. I think that's also like, a better if one. I, yeah. Like, I like writing it and I like crossing it out like that's my thing you. like, yeah, like, I I, like deleting it like then i don't really know what i've done like i yeah, like yeah, having what a, did I delete again? exactly but <laughs> i like having like a i like seeing how much stuff i've like completed i feel then you. i'm like okay bet like my day's going well or not i think also it yeah. shows the progress a bit more you know what i'm saying yeah, like from exactly, the initial bro. idea to 100%. what it comes out to yeah. be i have like my like a main like um this is kind of just like a daily notebook that i just like jot daily stuff in but i have like a proper like design book that i do also like sketches and everything inside there and like yeah. all my plans and yeah whatnot. yeah nah that's dope bro i think before we carry on you know what i'm saying let's just quickly go to a quick ad break we'll be right back Let's go. Can't stop, won't stop, gotta keep going, going. What's my cup? Seven on me, she got me flow. I'm kind of mess, but I've been on the road. Yeah, me niggas can't get like me. Know these niggas, they got more fun than me. Pull up your top, yeah, I'm really shoot up. Pull up whole gang, I'm with the truth up. Told that bitch, make that shit loose. Yeah. I got rid of all my shit loose. Yeah. Told them don't play on me, no, I don't lose. Hey sir, what's poppin' Space Academy? We're back from that ad break, you know what I'm saying? Big shout out to R Leaf, you know what I'm saying? They're the gang always holding us down and we're still in the building with Big Gilly, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So uh, one thing I wanted to touch on, right? I heard you um, touching on your creative process mm -hmm. and as Taco mentioned about world building, you know what I'm saying? You said that that's also something that you consider. Yeah. I just wanted you to run me through your full on creative process, like, you know, once the designs come, like what's step one up until the final product? I mean, step one, I guess, will be bringing out your inspiration for, mm -hmm. the, for the collection, um, doing research, and then from there, we'll go into designing. Yeah. Um, yeah that's the iPad, you know, mm. whip that out. Um, and I'll just go over, like, a lot of things, but there'll be a lot of things that don't make the cuts in the end of the day. Yeah. A lot of stuff for me to cry on that don't make the cut, but then... Like, yeah, why did you leave that out? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's always the samples, so I'm just like, stressing the most about it. Like, yo, yeah. I have, like, a pair of of pants and your kid being like on my ass about those pants for yeah. so long bruh yeah um this was come out with like this collection but then 
I was waiting for like a, I wanted to do a two piece, so I had left the pants forwards. Oh, I see. Um, by the way, after that, I mean, then it goes into so I take it to um, my pattern maker. Can we chat about it, like see what's possible, um, how we can go through that, get a sample made, and then from there tweak the samples. Yeah. Um, to the liking. Sometimes it takes a few samples. Sometimes it takes like three, four samples. Mm. Um, because yeah, I'm so particular on my stuff. And then you know, once I'm happy with that, go into production. And then yeah, pretty much shoot. Then you campaign shooting. Yeah. Um, do that. Plan the rollouts. Mm. Do an event launch. I've been doing a lot of like screenings and like proper launches for like all the pieces. So plan that. And then yeah, bump the rollout afterwards. That's crazy. That's a whole it's a whole process. process bro. People don't see bro. the whole people thing don't see all yeah, of that. You know what I'm sure, saying? Bro. They just see I the shirts out or the pants yeah, is yeah, out. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? They're like, okay, let's go cop. You know nah, exactly. But that's what I was saying. Like the last collection was like the rod took like a good four or five months mm. to from like us planning and like meeting up and starting to be like, okay, let's actually do this. To you know, I don't know how many times we made up like. Yo, yeah. so many times, bro. Yeah. Just doing like tweaks, getting all the final details sorted, and then yeah, getting to the final point of like putting it out there. Yeah, no, but I feel sure. like when you put it out, bro, it's always that's like when you you know you feel like everything's worth it, bro. Because then you yeah, get like yeah, everyone's yeah. reactions and stuff, bro. It's always a beautiful and thing. And you're like, yeah, this was worth it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So then after you put out stuff like we have a lot of musicians that come on here, yeah. and when I tell them or when you tell them your favorite song from them, they might be like, yeah, no, nah, I don't really like that one. That's yeah. Do you have any pieces like that where it's like? I don't really like that piece. Yeah, <laughs> not for sure. But it's still sure. up there. I feel like it mostly do is like silhouettes. So like I have, there was like a triple four angel piece that I feel like people still have been going crazy about. But it was like before, I was, it was when I was still in uni, I designed it. So it was before I started using CMT, so I was using blanks. So I don't like the silhouette of the, the cut of the t-shirt. Yeah. So and the quality of it, like, whereas like it was still a dope piece, but like now it, I would have just, it would have been so much better with like the current silhouettes and everything. I feel you. And there's a couple of those pieces, like, even from, like, my earlier pieces, like, people will be like, yo, this piece is so dope. But I'm like, I've moved on so far yeah, from you, that. Yeah, you want some other shit I want some now, other like, stuff now, bro, yeah. yeah. So in, this, in a lot of ways, like, it's similar to, you know, artists. Because even like that, like, even with the internet go, bro, my boys don't hate me, but, like, they have, like, lunch party from back in the day. Yeah. And, like, yo, I'd still be banging that shit. And I'm like, they're, like, don't even, you know. <laughs> yeah. that we're we're anymore, talking bro. about yeah. that on the yeah, interview. Yeah. Like, now, what was your favorite lunch party song? Um... Shit. Um Sonic was pretty hard, was hard, bro. Mm. Um well, Super Sonic. Was it? Super Sonic, yeah. 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 yeah, I think that'll probably be it, bro. Yeah, I think I was messing with I ate, but I ate favorites, so uh the ones with Casey, uh one for you and she wants me. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she yeah. wants me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, facts, facts. That's whole, we'll go back to those yeah, today. That's an yeah. era, bro. Yep, that's yeah, one yeah, of those where it's bro. like it's stamped in time. I feel you. Hundred percent. So one of those. So you spoke on some of your so how it starts with an inspiration. I wanted mm. to know I see one of your influences is Tyler the Creator. I wanted you to speak a bit on that. Mm. Okay, shit. Um yeah, I feel like Tyler he's been like my inspiration from like back in the day. Like I found him in like 2012 yeah um and i still remember like i was in i was in business class and uh my homie seer but he he uh the the teacher left the classroom and he put it on like the the like the projector and he put yonkers he put yonkers on bro <laughs> Yonk, Yonk, oh, yonkers is Yonk a crazy Yonk video bro crazy and like homies crazy. homies was like 13 years old something like that bro and I mean, it's a weird thing to say that blew my mind, but like that piece, I was <laughs> like, I was like, bro, that thing was so outrageous. I was like, I yo, bro, like, I was like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. And then I just started like, you know, getting into Loiter Squad um, mm. and everything I was doing, because like then he still had like Golf Wang, or it was, it wasn't even Golf Wang back then, but it was like Odd Future Wolfgang killing oh, them all, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, he was just, he was doing like the clothing and he was doing the music and he had like, I, I also grew up skating things like that, so I always like like the skating videos. I felt like the um the Lloyd Squad videos are very similar to that where it's just like homies are like, you know, they they just causing havoc and yeah. like doing their thing and that was always dope and just like the um I guess the energy that they had together mm. was was super dope. And then from there like his transition to obviously, you know, doing like um going to golf wang and golf wang, golf going, going to going yeah. to Flower Boy, going like further and like his like transgression, I felt like was always matching um, my transgression as well. That's dope. Like in terms of especially like music, like I liked like like his stuff back in the day was like super hectic and like yeah. I actually like I fuck with that a lot. And then as he was like calming down, 
even though I still listen to like heavy trap and stuff, but like I also like kind of calmed down as well. So like the, the as an artist, like I just resonated with his whole growth. Yeah. And then like I felt like his growth happened as my growth happened. So like when his brand and stuff like started like you know taking a lot of care into that, like then I was also you know it was like oh this is dope like I can actually do this and he kind of just showed me that you can do more than one thing where I felt like Thanks. I never knew what I wanted to do when I was growing up. So him like doing everything, I was like, you know what? Like that means I don't have to do one thing. And that's yeah. like right now I'm just doing so many things. Cause like, that's just what I enjoy, but I'll always do as much things as like I have time and like can do. Yeah. So yeah, that's definitely why he was like the main artist. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And now he even got his like that LV capsule. LV collection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't tap into that one, but I, yeah. Yeah. Tapped, how, yeah. how, what did you feel about it? It was, I won't lie, bro. I think it was pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I don't know, I spoke uh, with Rose about it, you know what I'm saying? And we're like, it's actually going to be dope with um, Tyler's color color palette, you yeah. know what I'm saying? To bring that into the brand, I think that's going to be really fire. I thought it was dope because they bring Tyler for being Tyler into the thing. So, like, Tyler even they had, thing. like, small details, which I thought was, like, they had, like, on the one, I think it was on a bag. But he had a little maple syrup thing, which was just like yeah. I don't know if you've seen like one of his earlier stuff, but like he fucks his maple syrup like yeah. hard and shit. Mm. So it's like I don't know, it's like small things that like the they detail. just t- they detail the, detail the into. That was just like it was yeah. just very Tyler, but like the wavy silhouettes in the shoes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that was dope to see, bro. Yeah. So yeah, shout out for for Raul, bro, because he obviously put him on for that. Yeah, so. not definitely, bro. Um, and like you know, just to go into the artist space, you know, what I'm saying I just want to know like what's in your rotation of music right now. Mm-hmm. Um. Yo, probably like mostly what like artists or like just genre. Mm, let's go artists. Let's yeah. go artists. Artists. Yeah. Yo, um, I mean, I'm be mostly listening to like trap, bro, to be honest with you. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trap need that um, energy. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Our local, I'll say like Maglero will be there, bro. Mm, that's um, dope. Nine hundred, mm. nine hundred forever. Keed, Irish, you know. Yeah. Um, sims as well and then international i'll put like yo who i've been listening to in bracelet bro yo, i've been listening to so much music bro mad how are you what's the boy been listening to oh yeah you just oh, released a new you, project okay. that went crazy yeah, 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 for yeah. sure for sure yeah yeah um yeah each new tape mm. yeah, i went back on a six dogs tip actually bro i don't know if you know if you tapped into six dogs i haven't tapped in bro yeah, on some more like melodic calm shit, but mm. he's dope as well. Um, huh? Oh yeah, Don Earl, Don Earl, Don Earl's hard, right? Don Earl's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. crazy. Yeah. He actually just dropped like hard rock, bro. Yeah, bro. yeah, hard yeah. rock. Hard rock goes crazy, bro. Yeah. Um. Yeah, bro. Um. I mean, Kanye his new his new his new tape as well. The vultures. Oh, yeah. The vultures. Oh. It was dope. I mean, like, I feel like he's he's been releasing so much stuff though that like i feel like he hasn't had the time to like work on a full project for long enough like as he did in the past mm. yeah um I get that. but there was still like crazy tracks on it like yeah that definitely bro so i fuck with it bro as an overall project for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. i was saying it's more like a compilation i don't see it like an album yeah, I mean, it's yeah, more yeah, like yeah. A compilation of different types of tracks right? exactly bro yeah mm. for sure we can hop into the oh um another influence that i've seen from my older collection was mm. So one of your pieces, the boys do cry. Oh yeah, mm. that's from the dissatisfied capsule, mm. right? I wanted you to, I wanted to hear about about the way you basically remixed the, is it the Frank Ocean blonde cover? Nah, it wasn't actually. Oh, it wasn't. Did you nah. recreate it or reshoot? Yeah, it was like a reshoot, but it wasn't even. Um, I actually didn't even. It wasn't like, inspired by that. It wasn't even inspired by that. I just really thought because I get you though because now that I think about it, yeah, yeah. For sure. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was yeah. like it in sense, the back bro. of the head, like subconscious type. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it probably could have been, bro, for sure. Um, but yeah, it was just like, I guess it was like a, it was, it was like when I just started doing CMT, and then I guess it was like a period where I was just like, it was like like learning to do CMT and make your own silhouettes is, is a whole process in itself. So. I felt like kind of a bit dissatisfied with like how everything was coming out and yeah. like I guess I want to just reflect that in the collection and like the process of like getting you know to the final result like obviously I was happy when it came out and like I felt yeah. like it came out you know perfect to what I wanted to have but yeah the process was just like a big learning curve bro yeah. so and then like I feel like always like I'm always dissatisfied bro to be honest with you yeah and I feel like that's like a key bro like 
like obviously you know you get gas and things but at the end of the day like i'm always like yo i can go harder bro i feel you i feel like it's yeah. also like an artist's curse you know what i'm saying to yeah, for sure. always look down on the old stuff and just want to yeah make literally, some bro. New fires, i get over stuff so quickly as well yeah. but like even the stuff from like a year ago like i would even be rocking it as like as much as because like there's a new stuff that came out and like i obviously take like something from I took all the pieces from the new collection, bro. So then I'm yeah. like, I don't know. Then I'm, I'm like, it, this is like, the new stuff. Yeah, and I've seen the stuff a lot place. already before. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I feel you, bro. Yeah. I think one thing I also wanted to uh, touch on was uh, I peeped um, Samurai uh, Farai. He was mm. rocking uh, one of the tees for his GQ South oh, Africa yeah, yeah, yeah. and also the Bulldogs uh, yeah, yeah, gym campaign. Back then, yeah, that was Angel that was really one. Fire. You guys tapped in? Like, are y'all cool yeah. with that? Yeah. yeah, for sure. I, um, yo, we've been boys for a minute. Uh, like, since before we moved to Josie's side, um mm. then he had he was at black break for like a minute he had a gallery space there yeah and then actually helped him like with like um you know just some of that process there um and then i had some some artworks in the gallery there as well yeah um he actually put me onto my first show funny enough oh that's crazy yeah okay. literally, so, awesome. yeah. so it was like 2020 um just after like i guess the major like lockdown and covid yeah and then i was back home for but i just came back to cape town like, i was stuck back home for like four months bro imagine. yeah so then i came back to cape town and then he was creating something at ideas cartel and there was like a art slash like it was like a creative space where like homies had like artworks up and it was like there was like, a few brands as well yeah um and that was i guess where i actually like tapped into like everybody and like the whole scene was like through that mm. and then yeah we like through that we became yeah, good homies yeah yeah bro but yeah, yeah he's been supporting me for a time but even the last collection now he bought like a couple pieces and nah shout out so, to him that's dope yeah shout out for the love bro. that's too far yeah what are some local brands that you mess with right now mm. that you really mess with like you like yeah nah they doing their thing um i mean like i'm gonna have to say broke for sure like they oh, yeah broke mm. they they putting on like um yeah the culture yeah a lot bro in the city and you know around the country yeah um i always like leaf i feel like leaf silhouettes and everything um already been super hard yeah um obviously all the boys from the studio painful kic you know cakes nights the homies um, all the homies bro yeah. everyone there Ari, Haiji, scooby um yeah all going crazy mm. And yeah, but I feel like those those are yeah top for sure. Yeah, no, that's dope. And then if you were to have like a dream collaboration with another brand, which would it be? What like in SA or outside? All yeah, time anyway, dream bro. collab, all time. SA and all time. Yeah, yeah I think let's outside. do that. Yeah. Okay. At the moment, I actually have like two that I think would go crazy, and um, I say like a cold war, bro. I, mm -hmm. I really, I think that like. I feel like our like aesthetics will go crazy yeah. together for sure and then like thug club i don't know if you know thug club mm -mm. thug club is like out in in seoul in um south korea oh okay go crazy bro yeah yeah super crazy so they're them for sure yeah yeah i think hugo hugo and mad mentioned them oh is it mm. yeah, yeah, yeah oh yeah, yeah. thug club too hot bro. yeah yeah yeah, tap tap in. That, bro. yeah 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 no okay, for sure okay, okay. you got anything else you want to try uh, to cover no nah, just maybe a message for the fans mm message for the fans bro um yeah i just want to say shout out for all the love you know from the recent collection dropped in ppc lemkus um and yeah bro support's just been so crazy and yeah, yeah building the community together it's been a beautiful thing so yeah i can't wait to like see where everything takes us and yeah just carry on supporting the homies yes sir for sure bro. Build, yes, community. Uh, build the community. Build the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build the community. You know what I'm saying? Fuck a nine to five. Yeah. Ish. yeah. <laughs> fuck a nine to five bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah and just get all the homies up together that's honestly the goal for yeah. sure yeah, bring us up both because there's space for everyone, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, for sure. Now with that academy, you know it is host with the most space boy taco. Yes, sir. You know who I'm with? I got low key on the thing. We have the Renaissance man, Ish. the man Ish. of the minute, Ish. Big Gilly. Yeah, you know Big Gilly out here. Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate yeah. you coming through, my G. Make sure you go yeah, shop, yeah, yeah. Make shop sure we get bro. that. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing, bro. We'll catch you on the flip side, and we are gone.